What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to do a video on gun talk. Uh, before we go any further, please excuse the noise. I got the air conditioner on out here in the shop because the weather here has started to warm up. We've been going through some transitioning with storms, cold, rain and stuff like that. And it's a little hot out here in the shop, so I got the air conditioner on. So if you hear that sound, I apologize for that. Now, before we go on any further, uh, this video is going to be sponsored by 1350. That's the t-shirt that I got on, 1350. What is 1350? 1350 is a family. I believe they're law enforcement and some military in there. And they have made it their mission to provide first responders and military with some of the greatest and comfortable clothes. Whether it's on duty, off duty, whatever. They've got it for you. If you want to accessorize your equipment, your your uh, your jackets, your vest, whatever, hats, they got it. Check them out. They do custom work on patches. Um, I'm in the process of getting with them to try to get some custom patches made for uh, me and some of my guys. So hopefully I can get that done. I'll leave their link down in uh, the description box below. Check them out. Also, this video is going to be sponsored by, I said we're going to go with Glock. If you don't know who Glock is, I really don't know what to say about you, man. If you don't know who Glock is, I don't know what to say. Um, I've been shooting Glock since 2000, at least 2009 is when I bought my first Glock. I have that Glock sitting on this table right now. It is the gun that I took to the police academy and uh, qualified through that class. It is the gun that I have carried with me every day um got my brand new glock that i carry on duty now i still carry my other one off duty so check out glock i'll drop their link down in the description box below they do do uh special orders uh the last time i talked to them they said that the way they do that if they have an order before yours such as a uh a law enforcement uh department has put in an order for some new guns or the military has put in an order for guns even if you're ordering a gun just for yourself they are going to fill the other people's order first because it is a first come first serve basis so if you're looking to order some guns for your department or your military unit or whatever give those guys a call their customer service is awesome they answered a lot of my questions helped me out when i made a purchase for my new gun and glock is just very very dependable I have not had a problem with any of my Glocks since I have owned them. So, the military trust them, law enforcement trust them, I trust them. So click that link, get you a Glock, or go out to your nearest uh, gun dealing stores out here and pick you up a Glock. All right, let's jump into it. Today's topic, um, today's topic is coming because uh, my nephew, shout out to my nephew, Darius Barnes, um, I asked him, you know, what kind of light was he running on his gun? He's he just graduated from the uh, police academy down in Camden, Arkansas. But he told me that his chief does not want them to run a flashlight on their gun. And I thought that was kind of crazy because being, you know, we're we're in 2022. There's no reason for a law enforcement officer to not have a flashlight on their duty pistol. So that is the topic of this video is your flashlights. What kind do you run? Why do you run? So I'm going to adjust my camera real quick to get you in close to the guns here on the table. So I have my three guns here. This is my Glock 22 40 caliber. This is my Glock 17 uh, 9 mil. And then this is my Glock 27 40 caliber. Okay. Now also, no magazine, no round, clear and safe for every gun that I have. Okay, now the Glock 22 right here, I am running the Blackhawk. This was their Xiphos light. The reason I have this flashlight was because when I ordered the Blackhawk Serpa holster, the way this holster was designed, 
you had to use this flashlight specifically with these holsters. So that's why I have this. Of course, y'all know why I like Black Hawk. Black Hawk was founded by a former Navy SEAL. Me being a former uh, Navy veteran, I'm gonna support my brothers uh, in the Navy, but I just really love Black Hawk stuff, so that's why I have that. But I wanted a Black Hawk holster. I just couldn't find their surfer holster like this or their, uh, their duty holsters that I also have where you could use any other light. So I went ahead and bought their light here and that's what I've been running on this one. Now, I can switch this light over to this one because of the rail system that they have, but that one there, on my Glock 17 here, I have the Streamlight TLR1 uh, High Lumens, but uh, that's the one that I run on this one. And then on the Glock 27 here, uh, the 27, the 26, and then there's another one, I believe it's the 34, does not have the rail system on the bottom of the frame here where you can attach a light. So this light is actually attached around the pistol, uh, the, the trigger guard here. But this is the Streamlight TLR6. One of the reasons I like this gun, I don't know if y'all can see this, okay? Uh, I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't. Anyways, this is a laser light combo. Um, here, uh, that, that's better. Right here is your flashlight, and then this is your la uh, laser aiming device. One of the reasons I like this flashlight, for one, it's the only one that I could find that would fit this particular platform. But this is the weapon that I will primarily carry off duty as my concealed weapon. Right here, I have one of the original magazines that came with it, but I did switch out the plate here so that way with that little groove I get a full grip on the grip of the gun or you can buy uh, the Glock 23 magazine which is their compact gun it gives you a round capacity of 13 rounds and then it'll give you a full grip with this gun but I primarily carry this one as my concealed carry weapon when I'm off duty going out in town and whatever else I can take this light off and carry it as a backup weapon which I will if I do that I normally carry it in my ankle holster but normally I carry this somewhere on me and having the ability to have a light and a laser is really important uh, especially when you're trying to get rounds on a threat <coughs> excuse me whenever you're trying to get rounds on a threat you want it to count now I'm not saying you need to be solely dependent on that laser. My opinion, when you practice with your firearm, you really want to practice and get really, really good using your iron sights. Those are the sights that will be there for you day in, day out. So you need to make sure you're really good with those. They say proficient. Proficient for me is not good enough. You need to be sharpshooter. You need to be a surgeon with those iron sights. That's when you know that you are really, really good. Okay? When you present, your finger is right there on the on and off switch, which it is on both sides. So that way you can activate your light and your laser. This is really good for those nights. Uh, you hear that little bump in the night in the house. You don't know what it is. I know some people say grab your AR like on my platform here. Yeah, get your AR. That's a good home defense. Yeah, but if I got this... I can tuck this in to me and not give my position away, not overexpose the muzzle and barrel of my gun when I'm coming around corners. And then when I need to identify that possible threat in the house, I can present that, that light. A lot of times, right here on the wall, hang on, I'm gonna move down, right here where my finger is at. Y'all still can't see that. No, you still can't. Too much light. I'm sorry. Right here where my finger is at, there is the laser. A lot of times when those bad guys see that laser on their body, they have that moment where they're like, I'm done. So having that laser, especially at nighttime, you get a light on them. You got a laser on them. You can identify that threat. You now have time to try. You have time to try to give some voice commands. 
before you have to actually engage that threat. If it comes to that, if you've done what you needed to do, you went to the range and sighted in that laser, if it comes to that moment where you have to squeeze that trigger, you should have all the confidence in the world that your round is going to hit your target that you're intending to hit. But that's the light I choose for this one. And mainly, again, for that reason, that way you're not having to hold, I'm gonna use the magazine as a uh, demonstration. You're not trying to hold flashlight in one hand and gun in the other hand doing this. You know, some people will argue if you got a light on your gun and you got the gun presented, if the bad guy aims at your light, then they're basically, they're going to hit you. That is true. That's why you need to learn how to use your light. Okay? When you need to scan a room, on, off. On, off. Scan the room, but don't leave it on continuously because it will give your position away and it will kind of give you away in a sense. It, it will make you a target. But I'd rather do that and have both hands on the gun with a good grip and I have total control of my pistol versus doing this because then some people, they get really weak in the wrist and then the gun is flopping all over the place when they're shooting and they look like a horrible you know, Wild Wild West movie where somebody just don't know how to shoot. Moving on, I'm going to pick up the Glock 22. Like I said, this is the Xiphos light. The activation switch is right here on the side, on both sides. Again, when I carried this one on duty, in fact, I'll do this. I'll talk about both of these. Since I have carried both of these on duty, um, I do carry a flashlight on my duty belt. And I will use that flashlight if the time comes where I'm searching a, a building or a room. And I'm just looking. But when that moment you hear some rustling around and you're not sure if that's one of those stray animals that got in the building or if that could potentially be a bad guy ready to cause you some harm. At that moment, for one, when you go into the building, you should already have a weapon out. Even if you have a flashlight in your other hand, you should have your weapon out and be ready. But then when that moment comes when you hear something, I believe... This is me personally and how I train myself and my train of thought. When you hear that noise, you turn off the flashlight, you put that flashlight back on your belt, you grip that gun, and now you turn that light on, and now you're in search mode with your flashlight and your gun looking in the direction of the target. This light also has the strobe light effect so by doing that, if you're shining it in the bad guy's eyes, it could temporarily cause them some blindness. They can't see you, give you a chance to move up, take that person to the ground by any means, and possibly get them subdued and get them in handcuffs without having to fire a round. So that's my thought on that. Uh, my Xiphos light, you can hit the button once and turn it on. Uh, something that I like to do because you hit it once, turns it on, hit it again, it'll turn it off. So what I like to do is hit it twice. So then when I take my finger off of it, see I can momentarily scan with it. And then if you hit it three times, you have the strobe light effect. So my thought on that, that is why I recommend having a light on your gun and also carrying a light on your belt. When the time is needed, and you need a flashlight, maybe you're just outside looking for something, pull your flashlight out, look for whatever you're looking for on the ground. You're going into a building, you don't know if the bad guy is in there, if the bad guy has weapons. I'd rather have total control of my gun with a good grip, ready to engage and use my flashlight on the gun to scan the room and look for bad guys. Um, I do have a shotgun in my house that also has a uh, Streamlight TLR1 flashlight on it. My AR-15 has a light on it. The only guns that I have in my house that does not have a light are the guns I use for hunting. You can't have a light on your gun because it's illegal. So I don't need a flashlight on there. All of my other guns, if I use them on the job or as a 
uh, concealed carry, personal defense, I am going to have a light attached to the gun or at the very least have a flashlight in your pocket. But me personally, I just think that if you're on duty, uh, you need to have a light on your pistol. You need to carry, you need to have a flashlight on your belt and you need to have a flashlight on your pistol. Because when the time comes, if you need that flashlight, you don't want to be trying to hold a flashlight in one hand, flashlight or a gun in the other hand, because in a second here guys, okay. Now, one of the ways that you can also train when using a flashlight that I've seen is you hold your flashlight out and up like so, because now your light's up here and then your gun is here. So now if bad guys are trying to shoot at the flashlight, they're going to be shooting up here around your hand. Your gun is right here. But now you see what that's doing because what if your hand is turned like this and now your light is actually pointing across my body over in this direction and my target is straight ahead. I'm not able to see him. What if my hand is turned this way and now my light is pointing directly to my left, again, not being able to see the target that's directly in front of me. Or... I know people have seen this from movies and TV shows. Flashlight going across like this, and then you resting your gun this way. I would do this, because now, whichever direction your light is pointing, that's where your flashlight or your gun is pointing, same direction as your flashlight, and then you can use that left hand as a stabilizer for your gun in this fashion. But guess what? If I put that flashlight down, and I got my gun like this, and now I have a flashlight here, sorry that I just blinded y'all. I can do the same thing while looking in the same direction as my target and my flashlight. And it just eliminates that need of having extra flashlights. So that was uh, something that I've been thinking about for a while, and I just wanted to throw that out there. You guys, can leave me a comment down below let me know what your favorite way whether it is a duty pistol that you're carrying or if it is your everyday concealed carry pistol let me know if you prefer to carry an extra flashlight on you or do you prefer a light on the gun if you do carry an extra flashlight do you just stick it in a pocket? Is it in a jacket pocket? Or do you have it clipped onto your belt somewhere on your person? Let me know what you guys think about that. Drop comments down below. Um, I would love to get back to you guys and chat. We chat about it and just kind of throw ideas off of each other. And whatever works for you, I highly recommend that you train that way. Go to your gun range, whether it's indoors or outdoors. Make sure you get permission from the owners of the places first and ask them if you can practice shooting with that flashlight in whichever position whether you hold it up like this you hold it here whichever way you carry that flashlight you should practice that way because if the time comes that you have to use your gun in that fashion you want to make sure that you are as proficient as possible so that way there's no mistakes when you have to use that weapon in that situation um, also, if you do prefer to have a light attached again when you go to the range, make sure that light is on there. Get used to the feel of that weight. Most of these flashlights don't really weigh that much, so there's not really a, a big weight difference. But get used to shooting with that light on there. So that way, if you need it, when that time comes, you've already built that muscle memory to activate that light if needed you're not you know fumbling around with it and it's like oh it's a new situation going on and i'm getting all screwed up in the head no you already know it's secondhand nature it happens you know same thing with your holsters this is actually a new holster that i just ordered uh called dara holster i think that's how i'm saying it right e-a-r-a -A. somebody let me know if i didn't say that right this was the only holster that i could find that would actually fit my Glock 27 accommodated with the uh, Streamlight TLR6 light. 
I reached out to my guys at Blackhawk and they just haven't made one yet. If you guys make one, I'm going to buy it. I promise you, I'm going to buy it because I love my Blackhawk. It's just at this moment, they didn't have one. So, this is supposed to be an appendix in the waistband holster. I have not become a fan of appendix carry yet. I don't know if it's because of the belts I wear has a belt buckle and I just can't get the gun to sit right in the appendix area. However, I am still able to wear this thing on my side like I like it. it doesn't cause me any problems. But go to the range with your holster, with your light, and practice with it. That way, when the time comes, you don't get hung up on drawing that weapon out of the holster. Your hands and your muscle memory know exactly what to do. All of your training will take over. You're able to get that gun out. If you need your flashlight, your finger is already hitting that switch to activate that light and you're trying to identify that threat and if the time comes take down that threat so that's all i got again let me got let me know what you guys think leave, please leave the comments down below if you have not already at this time i'm going to ask you to smash that uh subscription button down there at the bottom click on that bell click all so that way when i do these videos you will get them it'll notify you phone a buzz it a ding it'll do something and it'll say that outdoors of creed just put out another video so go on and hit that and if you like this video do me another solid man drop a people's elbow on that thumbs up let me know if you like the video again leave comments and that's all i got for you guys i'm gonna get out of here because uh i think i gotta hit the gym yeah i gotta hit the gym and uh gotta get it in so you guys be safe out there make sure you train hard train smart let's stay safe take care guys